Can you talk about the impact of uh, special teams, um, you know, how it can play in your favor, and how you can turn that field a couple times on those spots? Was a difficult thing for you guys to overcome against Texas in the third quarter? Uh, well, Coach JP always says special teams is a third of the game, and you know you, you, it's a different, it's a, a phase of the game that you, you either win or lose. And Texas did a good job that game. You know, I, obviously we had, they we watched them on film, and they did the rollout punt, and they they punted it down. They never showed the look where they punted it across their body, and they just coaches just taught me to gradually shift with the uh, with the punter, and he kept kicking it away from me. So uh, we didn't know what to do with that. Miles, did you guys consider putting a second or third guy back uh, yeah. to kind of play, you know, make sure you feel the ball? Yeah, I d definitely. We, uh, we, uh, Rex was Rex was on deck. We just never put him back there. He was definitely on deck, ready to go. In retrospect, the second one where you went back and tried to get between the guy um, so it would go into the end zone, is that, is that correct? Correct. What happened on that? On that play? I was trying to, because uh, I, I realized that I can't let you know the ball get in this field position. I got to put our offense in a better position. So I was trying to hit the guy uh, uh, to, to prevent him from hitting the ball, and I just didn't get there in time. A couple days removed from that from that game, that's passed you a little bit. Where, where are you guys at? Right uh, I think we're refocusing on the process, and we realize, you know, we we got a big game coming up this weekend, and we're going to do everything we can to get and be fully prepared for this game. How, how difficult is it, I guess, to get over that game? Because everybody's still asking about it. You're probably still thinking about it. It's very difficult to get over a game like that, but uh, I think Coach Pelini does a good job with uh, keeping us focused and uh, just kind of telling us to forget about it. Niles, you're one of the leaders on the team. What do you tell the players, not just the coaches, but what do you tell them since you're one of the local leaders? Well, what I, what I do is I, I man up to my mistakes in that game, just like as well as everybody else did man up to their mistakes. And we all looked in the mirror and we came back and said, you know, we, we got a good team. We have a, a really good team. And, you know, if we play our ball, if we play our ball game, we could, we went out the rest of the season. PJ, uh, Smith. I was talking yesterday about home versus away and how he likes, as a defensive player, he likes being on the road because he likes when everybody hates him, uh, that he will play on the road every game if he could. Is that, is that a similar mindset to the team from what you from what you can gather? Because it does seem like you perform very well on the road. We uh we actually talked about this as a team, as well, why we play better at home, or I mean, away better than home. And, I, you know, it, it babbles me because I don't think it's because we like to be, you know, hated and going in, a, in a, an environment. We just, uh, it's just something, it's weird. We do play better away at away games. So you see, you see. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's noticeable that we play a lot better. We're, it seems like we're more focused at away games than we are at home. At home, do you kind of feel like the weight of the world is on you? And if you happen to do drop a pass, you know, the crowd is just going to turn on you? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like that. Like when you when you're, when you're at home, it's a lot of pressure when you're at home. Uh, and if you make a mistake, there definitely the, the crowd's definitely gonna let you know. You know, so how did you feel about, about Zach Lee and the way he handled that situation in the second half coming in, having really not played in six weeks? Uh, I mean, I, I, Zach was just waiting his time, you know, and uh, I know he was con We all were confident enough in Zach Lee that he was going to come in and, and do his job and do the best he can to uh, get us a win for that in that game. Anything else for Niles? Niles, do you, uh, as a senior leader, do you have to do anything? I mean, Taylor's a confidential fella, so is confidence an issue? Do you, put, you know, do you have to say anything, pump him up after what happened last week and say, don't worry about looking over your shoulder? <laughs> No, I mean Taylor. Taylor took it well, and he and he um, he's refocused. I don't even think he lost focus, but he, he's going to be ready to go come Saturday. Same dude. Same same dude. Miles, how many? Uh, I mean, this could be like a track meet on Saturday. Uh, their offense leads the nation. You're going to offense is going to put up a lot of points. Uh, how big a challenge is this for the offense this week? Uh, it's another challenge that we just got to we got to step up to, and uh, like I said, I, I trust the fact that the coach is going to put us in the best position uh, uh, all throughout this week to go out there and, and play the best game we can.